Good morning. Our opening song may be found in your gather book. Number 617. Blessed be the Lord. 670. Encouraged by God. 
For as Christ's sufferings overflow to us, so through Christ does our encouragement also overflow. If we are afflicted, it is for your encouragement and salvation. If, if we are encouraged, it is for your encouragement, which enables you to, to endure the same sufferings that we suffer. Our hope for you is firm, for we know that as you share in the sufferings, you also share in the encouragement. The word of the Lord. Yes, you, God. Our responsorial song, our response is, Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. They shall see how good the Lord is. Blessed a man who takes refuge in him. They shall see the goodness of the Lord. Because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. 
My friends, are you really happy in life? Are you really happy in life? And what makes you happy? And how do we measure our happiness? Is it because we are successful in life? Is it because we have bling bling? Or is it because we have fat bank account? Or because we are influential and beautiful? How do you measure happiness? And are you really happy in life? I googled and I found out that the country called Bhutan, it's really north of India in Himalayas. Bhutan is named the happiest people in the world. And so I googled why the Bhutanese people are the happiest people in the world. And Google said, Bhutanese people are peace, loving people, simple, humble, and disciplined people. It did not say they have bling bling. It did not say they have tons of gold. It didn't say they are successful and beautiful, but they said they are the happiest people because they are peace, loving people, humble, and disciplined people. So we know how to measure our happiness, but there is a greater teaching to be happy, and it's in our gospel today. Jesus gives us eight Beatitudes or teachings how to be happy. So if you think you're not happy, open your Bible this afternoon or when you go home and read Matthew chapter 5 verse 1 and you will see these eight teachings of Jesus how to be happy. The Beatitude is one of the most important teachings of Jesus because he himself is teaching us how to be happy. So don't go to the Buddha, don't go to Kabbalah, go to your scripture because Jesus said this is the way of happiness. And I will pick out two or three of the Beatitudes. To be happy, Jesus said to be happy is to be merciful. And he said in the scripture, blessed are the merciful and blessed are the peacemakers. When we are merciful to others and when we are peacemakers, we participate in the very nature of the divine because he is merciful and he is indeed a peacemaker so my friends if you really want to be happy open your bible matthew chapter 5 verse 1 to 12 and read the beatitudes i could tell tomorrow if you're smiling which means and you're happy you read the scripture and learn the teachings of Jesus on happiness. When you follow the teachings of Jesus, you will experience inner joy, inner peace, and His happiness. Let me ask you again, are you truly happy? If not, read the Beatitudes. Study the Beatitudes and put Beatitudes in our action. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us all stand. For an increase in religious vocations,
May the Lord bless with open hearts those who are discerning, prison, and consecrated life. Let us pray to the Lord. For world leaders, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in working to uphold the dignity of the oppressed. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who suffer from chronic illness, may God comfort them in their difficulties and ease their burdens. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the Lord look graciously upon us, bless us, and make us peacemakers. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all who have died, marked with the sign of faith, may they be crowned with the glory of everlasting life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. And today's Mass is offered for Jaime R. Cadiz and Philip Roberts. We pray to the Lord. And let us pause in silence for our personal intention. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear and answer the prayers we offer this day, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, for creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed, God. God. Blessed are you, Lord God, for creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. Let us all stand and pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray that what we offer may be acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for out of compassion he humbled himself and was born of the virgin by the passion of the cross he freed us from unending death and by rising from the dead he gave us life eternal and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the name of your glory as without end. Together we say, Holy, 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 Holy Lord.
You are in the holy, O Lord, the fun of holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all your faithful people present here. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Padre Pio, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together with Jesus, we glorify God our Father and we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I give you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and gracious grant of peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer to each other Christ's peace, and I believe we can smile to one another. Please don't scare your neighbors. Peace be with you. Thank you. Peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. Amen. 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 Amen.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Our communion song is number six, five, nine. Blessed are they, 659, in the gathering. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 
before the Mass Assembly. Thanks be to God. And our closing hymn is 520. All the ends of the earth, you have gathered.